This video brought to you by Gamefly. Go to GameflyOffer.com slash HaloCanon for a 30-day free trial. Stick around to the end for more details. Hey there, Canonites. Welcome back to more Halo Wars Let's Lore. Today we're doing Anders Signal, where Anders gets captured. And I am joined today, I'm very happy to say, by the Eld. Uh, if you hang around in lore communities, you will know him. Uh, you'll likely know of him. He does a lot. He's very knowledgeable, like myself, and knowledgeable, more knowledgeable in in many ways. And just and one of the several people that keeps me on my toes when it comes to lore. So say hi. Yeah. Hey. Well. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As much as I like to call myself Halo Cannon, but I am no lore master. You know, lore just above average. We all have to keep each other in line because we all forget stuff so now and then. All right. Yep. So, like, the first thing I wanted to say was that, that uh, it was, I think it was actually Haruspis that pointed out that first thing right there where yeah. uh, if we're just talking about the one for the scrapbook. Mm hmm. That actually in Smoke and Shadow. Um, Forge is actually talking when uh, Lucy Riet Ryan is having her memories. Mm -hmm. uh, Forge is actually creating that scrapbook for his daughter there, which is actually a really nice, neat touch. Oh yeah, <laughs> didn't even think about that. That's kind of cool. Speaking of, uh, we and of course there's the card there. Yep, the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades. And uh, quick notice for anyone watching. Um, we will be discussing Smoke and Shadow, or we will likely be discussing Smoke and Shadow here and there, since there's some connection between right. that and this. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, and of, and of course, <laughs> since you've already said that now, uh, Forge basically just took like a slash from an energy sword <laughs> to the chest and seems to be doing okay. Yep. And now they can say that that's because uh, he's a Spartan what, Spartan 1.1, I think it oh, yeah. would be. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Be interesting. There's, there's been some debate about whether the Spartan 1.1s actually inherited their augmentations or not. Because in I Love Bees, where the Spartan 1.1s, the children of Spartan ones, were first introduced, wow, that was a really quick transition. I do not remember it being that quick. Saying human anyway, combat form. Yeah, we have to talk about that. Cool. Yeah, but uh, the Spartan 1.1s, uh, like in I Love Bees, where they're first introduced, there's a line that says that implies that that uh, they were like. In like they were given augmentations as children, right? I think the like, thing was that like it was never it was actually like, like heard about it from like a character that would actually know about it. Yeah, it was, it was like kind of just like them themselves Janissary discovering Jane. they could do things. Yeah, there was a cop so they don't know. Rest of Jan Janissary James, one of the main characters from the Isle of Beast series, saying mm -hmm. somebody shot you full of miracles. Oh, okay. So, it's like this one-off that could either be canon or could just be his speculation. But, right. Like I. Personally, I have trouble believing that they there were that their augmentations would be uh, inheritable. But who depending knows? on how much was genetic, which is debatable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, like they always talk about the Spartan one, the Spartan twos got you get you are like genetically augmented, but the what the augmentations we know of. Um, oop, what the hell? Why are you unlocking? Why are you oh, unlocking? <laughs> Damn it. I thought you said there weren't any signs of the covenant down here. All right, so what do we need to do here? Got to build units. Okay, yeah, let's not go up there yet. responsible for the attack on harvest. First time Johanna are ever actually mentioned by Yeah. Him. I think it's the first time a species name has actually made it into the lore or into oh, really? the games I should say. Not the, not the lore. This is yeah. uh, that was uh, Ghost of Onyx. So that was actually one of my favorite things about that book. It always said, like, whenever you get the first appearance of the species name, it'll say, um, you know, this is the Sunghealy name for whatever for the brutes or okay, yeah. Ungoy or whatever. So that was another cool. little note from Smoke and Shadow. There is uh, in that last cutscene when uh, Serena says, like, we left. So we left a note saying we're leaving, right? Yeah. <laughs> so now we know that was basically the convoy that became. The well, we knew that here. from. Um, What's it called? Uh, Escalation, actually. That's where that right, was. Right, right, yeah. But yeah, then it's Smoke and Shadow followed up on that. Radiant Perception. Yeah. It is kind of it is kind of nice that it seems like Hood actually did 
manage to to hit to shoot it down. So his blunder wasn't a total blunder. <laughs> yeah, depending on how far away like Arcadia well, the, and Laconia are from each other. <laughs> I mean, they're like, in the, they're in the same there. system, so it, yeah. it, and it came down in February twenty five thirty one. So, unless it like just happened to return there sometime later. Right. Well, yeah. During that whole engagement, my forces are getting decimated. Where are the supplies coming from? Uh, that's a great question. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> we don't have a base or anything yet. Yeah. Like, if you're telling me that uh, the Spirit of Fire can just send them down, well, actually, that's technically what it's always doing, isn't it? They use the same, the so same technology. Mind. It's the same way they uh, power the uh, uh, mat guns on Reach <laughs> from, from, from <laughs> it the It is transported, there. yeah. The, the They're magically transported. wires. Or <laughs> yeah. However that works. <laughs> Which would actually be really, really cool if uh, Warfleet actually finally answered that. Answered what? Uh, say again. Answered. How they train? How the oh, how uh, like they generators on Reach transmitted power to the guns in orbit? Well, I'd imagine the same way it would, that um, Tesla always wanted to make it work. Literally, just tra almost in the same way you transmit a radio signal. But right, but it's like a actual, lot of power. Like, Transmitting energy, yeah. to actually power something massive. Yeah. Oh. oh. So do we, what have you are done? Are we both controlling a different forge. No, we. Uh, there's only one forge, and you're you're the one who has control oh. of them. Well, he's Although, down right now. <laughs> yeah, for now. Although I think when he's resurrected, they actually it like transfers to whomever resurrected him. I'm, actually, I'm not 100 percent sure about that, but whatever. Destroy damn vehicles. What difficulty are we on right now? We're totes on legendary, guys. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I love that image pop up from that, that one episode <laughs> with, uh, for, with CIA. Oh, hey, we have Spartans. Well, I guess I have Spartans. Hold on. Okay. Oh, wait, is this one? No. Yeah, that's you, Douglas. Nope, that is. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start bringing, I'm going to unlock the elephant. I'm gonna give you a Spartan. Quite suddenly, I might add. Yes, sir. Sergeant, take a team out there and find out what's happening. And here's where we want to build up, build the fuck out of flamethrower units. Oh yeah, <laughs> for infection forms and stuff. Yeah, so the the flood on here, this is like a huge, a huge deal. Just like trying to guess like why they're here, I guess. Uh oh. India signs are offline as well. Because obviously this had the, these flood basically had to be here to survive like the effects of the array firing. Yeah. Like Harspus had a good idea but, where it's like they they got inside and then had to like sort of fight their way out. Right, because there were sentinels in here yeah. fighting against them. So once they got to the outer shell, then except also um, when it, that first when we were coming in that first cutscene, it showed the uh, combat form that was completely a Singheli right there. Yeah. Well, obviously, like and I, the Sung he, the Covenant had known, a, or there's actually some debate about when the Covenant discovered this. I don't know if you uh, ever saw anything about right. that. Right, I, I think I th think it was in like it was in one of the um, the what, I forget what it's called, but it's the same like guide for Halo Wars that includes like details about like Forge and his daughter and everything. Yeah, it, it said the Covenant good. had like visited this Shield World before. Yeah, like there's two sources on it. Like um, I think it's the Waypoint says. Whatever it is, there's two sources. One says that they were that they discovered it as a result of what they found at Arcadia, which is personally what I like a little more, just because it sound it uh what is it it, it sounds so this would a little more in line. Um, like otherwise, why the hell were they on Arcadia? But then, oh, in the first place, yeah, yeah. Um, but then there's another then source, which was either the Prima Guide or the that's it. Yeah. Um, or the Halo Wars website. It might have been both. It's hard to say uh, because I don't remember off the top of my head. But it said that the Covenant had discovered it like years before, but were never able to do it. Right. That's what I was thinking and, of. Yeah. Regardless, is they knew they were there before humanity well, maybe, had humanity had discovered it. Um, so maybe the uh, 
the Covenant that went there just never made it back to report on it. And that's why you have a uh, thing Healy <laughs> like infected there. Well, I mean, even if they even if it was if they only just discovered it because of Arcadia, you know, we already saw in the previous cutscene that. Um, okay, I'm gonna lock down the uh, elephant and start building units. <laughs> You don't say. Covenant. I'm not reading any brute signatures. I'd like to see like so much more diversity in Flood when they yeah. finally come back. <laughs> yeah. I just realized Stuff how like big from, those uh, fucking balloon <laughs> the infection forms are. Yeah. Like holy shit. Like Last like... Voyage, the Infinite Sucker, that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> the infinite sucker. I wanna sucker. see <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me while I make fun of your pronunciation. Wow, I can't even see my guys. Oh god, the flood clouds. I fucking hate those. Is this Echo team right here? Oh yeah, and you, are you oh, yeah, trying to we have a carpet the black uh, box and I actually forgot where the black box is on this level. Okay, because I, I was hoping you knew. Nope. Yeah. I did not. Ooh, I wish we could carpet bomb, but we can't. No uh, I think I, I think I have that, but. I and we don't have enough resources. Yeah. Oh my God! What is the thing? Just like ripped it. Oh god, those tendrils. Oh yeah, you guys should like back up a little bit. <laughs> Just a bit. Come on. Yeah, go Alice. <laughs> Shoot the fuck out of that tendril. <laughs> Oh, what else to talk about? It'd be interesting to see if maybe if there's like a sequel to Smoke and Shadow, whether I like really now that we have like a little bit as second. like a main character. There's definitely the whether second. he can like offer some insight on the activities of the flood here, you know? Yeah. Oh, the little infection. If he can, if he can remember anything at all, because he couldn't remember like, his name or anything. Yeah. That actually makes me think. I wonder what sort of bonuses we can expect to see in uh, Halo Wars Definitive Edition. Yeah, they, they didn't really say like what that means exactly. Yeah, like I'm not expecting anything like terminals, but maybe additional oh, yeah. timeline <laughs> entries. Oh. Oh, thank goodness we can actually get real. <laughs> Shit. Right. You can stop We're building infantry that's incredibly susceptible to the flood. Uh oh. There's some angry shit over here. <laughs> so is the key here. Well, like, isn't the key like flamethrowers anyway? I mean, flamethrowers. I, I would just if, assume that from If you're going to do infantry. <laughs> like, yeah, if, you, if it's infantry, you, you want to do. Uh, f excuse me, flamethrowers. <laughs> But I mean, generally, I'd rather do, I'd want to do uh, vehicles. Okay, yeah. Because there, you know, no flood susceptibility there. Well, that's new right. And scary. These organisms are Except for that, now we have that. Uh, there's that mega blocks uh, <laughs> flood infected cyclops. Yep, <laughs> that was good. that was an interesting one. Still waiting for that to for that to be something in the games. <laughs> yep. You and me both, man. Serena, you ever hear the phrase "too much information"? <laughs> no, Sergeant, I don't believe I have. So I never really liked Ford. I thought he was kind of a boring character, but now like my opinion has completely changed <laughs> because of. Never Smoke say that to a friend of mine. She is in love with Forge. Yeah, well, she also. I think she she also like really fucking loves uh, Nolan North. So, okay, yeah. All right, and we'll just lock you down there. Row, row, raggy. Let's get some flame mortars. 
Were these turrets already here? Yeah. Did you build these? No, they base? they uh, they came with the base. Oh, okay. Because I know, like, flamethrower is, like, an option for the turrets, too, isn't it? Yep. It's been a while <laughs> since I played. Oh, we got them coming from the south. Okay, you got a field armory coming in. It's good. Okay, and then we can get vehicle depot here. Let's see. I can't remember which Spartan is usually the one that has the rocket launcher. Wait, do we have two rocket launcher Spartans? Oh no, that's a that's a uh, laser. Okay. Chain gun. Yeah. Can't remember which one's usually supposed to be which. <laughs> I always associated chain it's gun like with Alice. Jerome with the chain gun, Douglas with oh, the okay. rockets. I think. Does yeah, it maybe. say when you click on them? I actually don't know. Yeah, okay, nope. Jerome Alice, has the Alice laser. has the chain gun. Jerome has a laser, yeah. and then Douglas. Okay. I knew there was a reason I associated Doug, or, uh, Alice with the chain gun. Because that's the one she there uses. There's any, like, I'm looking around, there's no, I'm looking around for, like, resources to collect. Uh, I don't think you there's any in this like, area. Jeez, I have, like, what, what the heck? Oh, God, I only, wait, do I? Okay, I only have Spartans left. <laughs> there goes the rest of my, uh, my units. Right side, plenty of this shit going on. Can we build, like, nothing but supply pads and reactors? <laughs> well, to start, but then you have the fuel okay, pump. Okay, the vehicle to come, yeah. But okay. <laughs> you gotta, in order to get the... <laughs> I mean, you kind of need didn't it. We coordinate that very well. <laughs> no, I think we did. We're just that good. I wonder if they'll ever try and differentiate this uh, elephant from the one in Halo 3... Um, don't they have, like, different names, actually, already? No, this they're both called elephants. Yeah, but I think, like, they have different, like, it's like M and then a string of numbers. I think they're both different, like, marks. Okay, yeah. Actually. I, think you, I think you're right, actually, they do. I have to go look, look at that again, though. You're probably, I think you're right. If Spirit of Fire gets a uh, gets a cross section in a uh, in Warf, would oh, be very interesting to see like how much stuff they can like store on there and like where they yeah. have like the. Well, I mean, they, they talk about things. They talk. I was like, I'm doing some research on it now because I'm going to be doing like a whole series of pre Halo Wars two videos and okay, in Spirit nice. of Fire. Uh, they talk about like the original or what it was like for the or the original colony ship, um, Spirit of Fire. It had uh, prefabricated schools. Mm -hmm. Yeah, things that were just laying like, there. Like I'm like just wondering if that's facilities. where. Yeah, like I'm wondering if like the prefabricated schools or would have been stored in the same area where the firebase pods are. Right. Well, I mean, it, it was like obviously recommissioned for like actual battles. Then. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I don't. I imagine like they they did it as much as they could, just kind of repurposed stuff. Oh, nice tank. Oh my god, what the hell? It just like fell, just a rock just like fell out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird, I've never seen that happen. <laughs> Alright, second scorpion. So why? Why can't I put forge like in this warthog? Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you know, like he'll spawn in a warthog in some levels, but that's just like a bonus. Right. Mm, okay. <laughs> Could you do it with the Spartans? Yeah, the Spartans you can do. You just do their regular board. They can go in any vehicle. Uh -huh. Yep. I'll get it. Scorpion rolling out. Go, Alice. You too, Jerome. Hopping on. Oh, coming from the north. Eh, don't worry, our turret's got it. Yeah. We really need an extra reactor. Alright, so are we supposed to be going to rescue, like, a second team right now? <laughs> we probably... Or, I don't know, we could. Are you waiting until we get, like, our population count up all the way? I don't know, we could go right now if you want. I think we, with a few tanks, we have enough. 
go rescue. Right. I think it's India Group or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here I'm gonna lock the elephant. Bring him with me. I can't remember. Is this the actually, is this the only level in this campaign where you actually get to use the elephants? I don't know actually. I don't remember. It's actually a, it's actually a really cool, cool game playing mechanic where you just bring your base with you. Yeah. Cool little way to shake the to kind of shake up the formula of each level. All units. Hunted for targets. I do find it kind of interesting that. Uh, They're the guy... flash cloning people in the back of it. <laughs> <There>. <laughs> that too. I was just thinking that like the Spartan voices are all done by the same guy who did. Uh, who's actually currently going to be playing uh, Cutter in Halo Wars too. Even the one for Alice. I believe so. yeah, because Alice they don't have a unique voice for Alice. She, oh really? She doesn't. She, she doesn't talk at all. No. Or uh. like or like when it's in game like this, all the Spart the Spartan voices are all the same. So. Alex or not Alex. Alice, <laughs> Alice yeah. is just as much of a man as as the other Spartans. Huh. Oh god, that flood all tank those hormone treatments. Yeah. It'd be funny if this actually was the flood the flood tank was actually intended to be like by Halo Wars intended to be uh or by ensemble I should say to be a hunter form. Yeah, it's hard to see. <laughs> yeah. I was like, the floating ones definitely look like they're intended to be, uh... Let's get away from there. I mean, despite what they intend, I think, like, now, like, what we know, like, I think, like, one of the unique things about, like, Legolo is, like, that the Flood w wouldn't really be able to do much with them. Just yeah, other than just the fire were trying to use them, like, on the ring and stuff as one of their somehow plans to contain the Flood. Yeah. I did like the Grimm's little uh, thing about that, like, oh, they, you know, the, the other thousand tried plans or whatever. Right, yeah. That's kind of cool little nod I hadn't even considered. I still hate that that was the enemy there, but... Oh, really? No, it just... Like, maybe if they'd, been, if they'd look different, but the way the Thana Legolo were depicted... The way they, just, like... It was very different than what we'd seen before with them. Yeah, like, they didn't even look like they were... Like, connected. They like, just looked like a mass of... Right, they could, like, fly, fly, and fly around and everything. yeah. I mean, which they explain because it's, like, technically a different variety than we'd seen before. Yeah, like, the explanation's there. I'm just not a big fan of it. <laughs> yeah. Bring all elephants back to base, Sergeant. All right, the, the elephant's under your command, so you'll have to, you'll have to call it back. Or you can put it under my command, and I can take care of it. Wait, okay, take the elephant back to the base, or all of us? Yeah, well, just the elephant. The elephant. Okay. There it goes. Sadly, I don't think we're ever going to get to see the carpet bomb. Uh, do I have enough for it? Yeah, almost. I'll use it first chance I get. <laughs> <laughs> Not if I do it first. <laughs> That's a bad idea. On my part. Oh. I'm actually curious. Is that it? Is that is it just the bringing those things? You're wondering if if, if there's a like, mission. Yeah. Uh, you know, in case it is, let me. <laughs> just gonna use the carpet bomb right here. This little engagement we got going on. <laughs> cool. Just completely bomb our own targets right here. There you go. <laughs> Which they didn't yeah. seem to mind that much. Yeah. Just for the fuck of it. So just what, watch. What, gonna, what gonna drops it anyway? Was it like a was it a long sword? It's a short sword bomber. Oh, short sword bomber. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Why did the elephants come back here? Uh, because of your units. I just bring everything I back. Forgot to, to lock them down. <laughs> And here they come. 
do so we there's have like, to wreck the day? Is is there like wreckage like kind of like on the ground here? Does it look like in a few places? I don't know if that's just from us or Oh yeah, there there is like there's like elephant wreckage like over here. There could oh, be Oh, but it's from the previous like Oh, are you talking like the sidewalls here? Okay. I've actually never really looked at these before, just the sidewalls. I think those are actually yeah. like the wing those might be the wings of the of the same kind of forwarder ship. Okay, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. That okay. was it. <laughs> that was the level. Holy shit, that's wow. <laughs> really short. And did you already do like this next one with late night gaming? Not yet. Uh, yeah, okay. something came up, so yeah. we'll do it another time. All right. But for now, awesome. And yeah, spoiler alert. I'm trying to get LNG on here, so <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, but anyway, that was Anders Signal, the first level of, of, with the flood. And I wish I had actually. I only just remembered this just now. Back in the day, this caused a huge controversy in the Halo community. Because it's like, wait a minute, flood in twenty five thirty one? What? Even though, mm. like, you know, after everyone knew the end. Excuse me, after everyone knew about the end of the game, right? But it's like, yeah, like how can this be? Oh, because they like showed this off like before it released. No, it was just like it was even a it was after release, but like people were still like like up in arms about the flood oh. showing up in twenty five thirty one. And there was yeah. like, oh, how can it do that? How did the you know didn't the Covenant didn't know about it before installate before Halo CE? And it's like, mm. no, I seriously doubt that. And we now we actually now know that for sure. But regardless, right. it's still it was like stupid controversy just to hate on Halo Wars because it wasn't a bungee game. Yeah, <laughs> some things never change. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. Well. This very well could be the last episode recorded through Xbox One since the Definitive Edition comes out this upcoming Tuesday. Mm. Which I don't know what that'll be in reference to when this gets out, assuming my computer allows me to render shit. <laughs> yeah, that's why Smoke and Shadow was delayed, or is delayed. Hopefully it'll right. be paused by this time this comes out. Yeah, looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to it getting off of my computer and onto the internet. <laughs> but anyway... Thank you, Eld, for joining me. Um, as I noted at the beginning, the guy does a lot, you know, very knowledgeable in the lore community, pretty big name in the lore community, at least in my opinion. Posts around a lot on uh, the Halo story, uh, our Halo story subreddit, uh, Halo Archive. Check out Halo Archive, by the way, and all that jazz. Um, recently, I think one of his cool, a very cool project he did, a uh, very small project, but still a cool one, was the location of the five known space elevators on earth there are six in total so we're trying to find that last one still who knows maybe a future loot crate will have it but i thought that was kind of a cool it was kind of a cool little are are with war fleet now <laughs> yeah <laughs> war fleet should, should just include everything just include everything actually i hadn't even thought about that that would be kind of cool if they had like some schematics of uh for a space elevator in there it might be a little i have to wonder if they're stuff. starting to rebuild them now the two that they lost or yeah <laughs> I would imagine so. I mean, they're they're useful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be a nice way to kind of like one of the like one of those si signals to say, you know, look, we're rebuilding, yada yada. You know, like All right. You know, like if uh, if like the Mombasa space elevator was you know the twin towers, then you'd want to remake it. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. have the the new World Trade Center there now, so maybe you'd want to do something equivalent to that and. Mombasa. Well, I, th I don't think they do anything there specifically. If we go by like Hood's line at the end of number three, where he says like this hillside will remain barren. Yeah, but that's means, also like cool. that entire vista. Or yeah, not. <laughs> it's hard to say, especially because uh, yeah, when I think about it, they also glass like that entire area, not half the uh -huh. continent, as they said. Just to note, fun yeah. little thing that still comes up. Just well, a drama another, queen. Yeah. yeah, the fleet with reach was fifty times this size. Yeah, no, no Hood, no, it wasn't. <laughs> Uh, I love that that actually got taken literally at one point. But anyway, mm -hmm. I'm rambling on. So, once again, thank you for joining me and all yep. of you out there for watching. So, until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give a like and consider subscribing and sharing this video around.
Also consider checking out Gamefly. With over 8,000 new releases and classic games for current and previous gen consoles, and even some older consoles, Gamefly is a great way to try tons of games without buying them. Go to GameflyOffer.com slash to start your 30-day free trial.